T.I. is in Houston at the Super Bowl pre-party and probably at the Super Bowl on the red carpet flaunting with this hoe. Okay, she's a hoe. And I know y'all probably seen the picture. It came out via shade room and everybody's like, oh, who's the mystery woman? This mystery woman is a hoe. Now, one source reported that she is the director of NFL marketing. I didn't believe that shit for one damn second because I didn't believe a person with that type of job and that type of money, okay, would be seen in public with this ass, with his ass. Not going through what he's going through. Okay? So I didn't believe it and they said that it wasn't true. And I looked up who was the actual director of NFL marketing. And this is what I found here. Now, you probably saying she ain't no hoe. I'll be damned. I'll be motherfucking down. This is a hoe. And I'm going to tell you why she a hoe, okay? Now, Hollywood Life reported that this is T.I.'s business partner, okay? I couldn't prove, I couldn't pull it up. Now, they found another picture, this picture, of him with her earlier this month. I'm not even referring to her as a her. She a hoe of this hoe earlier this month. Now, okay, if that's your business partner. But why are we just now knowing of this hoe, Okay? Why, why are we just now knowing about it? I have yet to see T.I. walk a red carpet with anybody but Tiny. Now, it takes a strong man to walk a red carpet with her. But then, you're going to show up at a red carpet in the midst of you going through a very public and controversial divorce and separation, separation with your wife with this pretty, natural ass, healthy fit, look like she vegan asshole. You don't do that. That's a slap in Tiny's face. All that damn surgery she don't with to have to keep your ass. And then he comes and pulls this out. This hoe ain't got no kids. I know she ain't got no kids. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Nope. And I can tell this hoe is ruthless here. Look how close they are together. Okay? You don't do that. A real woman will not do that until he's divorced. Only hoes do this. Only proud side pieces do this shit. Okay? That's what this is. I don't believe for one damn second that they're just friends. If she was a true friend, okay, knowing that, okay, if I'm T.I.'s business partner, I help put, T put money in T.I.'s pocket. I help put T uh, money in T.I.'s wife's pocket. I'm probably a friend of the kids, okay, if she's an alleged business partner because you don't do, fr you don't do business with people that don't know you, okay? They have to know you. They know your family. You want to trust this person. So if she is a friend and just a friend, she would have known that this was disrespectful. And I guarantee you, if Tiny and T.I. were still together this whole hill wouldn't have been caught nowhere on that red carpet in houston a very expensive super bowl game letting this man cuff her waist like that now she a damn hoe mm -hmm. tiny need to do a damn research i'm trying to research who she is right now because i'm gonna be honest with you this is what happens when women have kids right and women go alter themselves like i said before it does show a level of insecurity now when a man meets a hoe like this okay who got her real hair okay she uh seems to be fit she's very beautiful she's got money she ain't got no kids that she gotta get up with in the morning and take to school she can just roll over this hoe here because ain't no kids crying with no baby bottles roll over hop on his dick and get it going make him breakfast with our kids saying mommy i'm hungry too she got an advantage okay now this is a hoe this is what hoes do this is what hoes know how to do mm-hmm he need to stop this shit. He trying to get one up on Tiny because Tiny embarrassed his ass. Now this here, this is a slap in the damn face. You supposed to bring out an ugly hoe. Somebody uglier than your wife. Don't bring this shit up. You don't do this shit at all. Now I'm fucking pissed because he done jinxed Atlanta. He represents Atlanta. He posts some photos talking about he out in damn uh, Houston. Flaunting this hoe. Watching over the Falcons, bringing that badass karma to the Falcons. And we done lost to some damn Patriots. A team who ain't even got one official damn state or city. It's a multitude of them. Okay? The South needed this, and he just fucking jinxed it, flaunting, flaunting this hoe. 
Now, I had to call that shit out. I'm trying to need to do a damn research. I'm trying to do the research for her so she can just watch this video and go and handle her business. Okay? You got to fuck that shit up. He going to come home and he going to help you raise all them damn kids. Okay? And he going to help upkeep you too. Trying to go get a healthy vegan real hair hole. You don't do that. You don't do that shit. Now, I... He... No. No. He needs to take off the Malcolm X outfit and get back in his damn house. And start looking like this again with this woman. Because this is where he belongs. Now, I got to go. I'm pissed off. I'm still pissed off. I was happy when I went to Cat Williams' concert. Cat Williams... Yes. I said I was going to come back and tell you about it real quick. Cat Williams came to Atlanta and show out. Okay? Everybody that was on that stage with him, Mark Curry, uh, some guy named Red, it was a lot of people in the lineup. I was drunk half the night on wine anyway, so. Uh, but all I know is that Cat William, even though he didn't show up on his tour last year, this year you will get your money's worth. He ain't even show up late. That, start, that show started on time at 8 o'clock while people were still getting seated. Okay, hell, there was, an even, there was a major fight that broke out in the Phillips Arena, and he still kept going. He didn't even stop to address and tell their asses to sit the fuck down, okay? I paid over $300 for my tickets, and they back here acting stupid. That's why you can't go nowhere these days, but he did a damn good job. Everybody he had on the tour did a damn good job. I'm telling you, I was in pain for two days because I had a headache, and my lower abdominal was sore from all the damn laughing. Phenomenal job. At least we had that to look forward to. And then I thought the Falcons, okay, was just going to do it for us. Hell, fuck this. Falcons ain't champions. Hillary ain't president. The fuck, what the fuck is going to happen next? We don't know. But I'm not going to be around to see it because I ain't watching the damn news no more. And I ain't watching no more damn football, okay? At all. Now, that's how Cat Williams went. I do highly suggest, and I'm not being endorsed to say this. He don't even know I blog. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, even the $52 tickets or the $45 tickets, you will still have a great view, and it's worth every single dime. I'm telling you. I was in pain for two days. Like I said, I was taking ibuprofen from laughing too much. Now, that's a damn good show. And Cat Williams... I toast to you and T.I., get your ass out of Houston with this hoe and get back in the mansion with Tiny. For I come beat her ass. And you don't want me there. You do not want me there at all because I'm going to fuck every damn thing up. Ask my husband. He'll tell you. He'll tell you. Now, I'm drinking a Pocket Crush today. This is my favorite all-time blend. All right? It's a smooth red blend. It's not oaky. It's a little, little bit of tinge of sweetness that comes from the Shiraz that's in there. Um, but it's it's worth it. You can get it at Walmart, actually. Walmart has their Pop the Crush for about $10, and I love it. It's a nice every day for me. This is what I'm going to be drinking for this week. All right? And, um... Again, if you like this video, please subscribe, okay? If you didn't like it, subscribe anyway just so you could be ready to cuss my ass out, okay? Now, I got to go cuz I got some I got some heavy heavy shit about Steve Harvey that I'm going to bring to you real soon, okay? Probably tomorrow. I just got to make sure it's right before I put it out there. I don't just put I don't just put shit out there like that, okay? So I got to go. I'm going to go work on this Steve Harvey commentary and y'all please subscribe. So you can get this update because I don't waste y'all time now. Talk to you later.